guys, it's Christina, and I am so happy to have you with me today in this video because I'm gonna be showing you my favorite heart opening yoga poses, my favorite heart chakra opening yoga poses that I personally do every single morning. I do these every morning because I truly feel like they open me up to beautiful new possibilities in my day. They, they stretch my body, they get me moving, they get me breathing, they get this fire moving within me. And I truly believe that when we you know, do heart chest stretch exercises, it's not just physical, but it, it also affects how we feel mentally and even spiritually at times to help get our day off to the right start. So I'll just say that I'm not a master pro yogi expert, can't do weird crazy things with my body. I'm just like you. I love and appreciate yoga. I love feeling healthy. I do practice yoga an hour to two hours every single day. I do hot yoga. I do Baptiste flow yoga here at Big Power Yoga in Houston. I go every day. I love it. I'm obsessed. And what I've learned about yoga the past two years that I've been doing it hardcore is that what I practice on the mat doesn't exist just on the mat. The most beautiful thing you can do is to take this practice and to take it and to practice those tools in the outside world as well. And that's where the challenge really begins, to practice patience, breath, compassion, movement, um, and so much more. All these little things that we notice when we're on the mat, the things that we struggle with, the things that feel uncomfortable, it's about moving and breathing through them. Even when they are challenging and when you do break through those things, it feels amazing and you, you show yourself that you can do new things. You can reach new heights. Heart opening is all about exploring new possibilities and welcoming in all the beautiful so that you can start your day off fresh. So I'm gonna be showing you my favorite heart opening yoga poses, my favorite heart chakra opening poses. And with all that being said, let's put our hair up, let's roll out our mat and let's get started. Before I get started, I always do a tiny warm up. And for me, my warm up usually consists of three sun salutations and five chaturangas a mountain pose to downward dog, high plank, low plank, upward facing dog, and back into downward dog. Deep breathing through my core. The first heart opening pose that I'm gonna show you is bow pose. And if this is too difficult, you can do a sphinx pose just like I'm showing you on the screen right now by laying down and moving your chest up and down to open it slightly. I'm gonna move right into my bow pose by grabbing onto my ankles and moving upwards. I'm gonna pull up to open up my chest and I'm deep breathing as I'm doing this. I'm flexing my feet, the palms of my feet to the sky and I'm pulling up continuously and breathing. This is great to open up your chest. This is great for your arms to stretch. This is also an amazing back bend as well. On your exhale, you can lower back down and I always like to move my feet from side to side to put a little bit of movement into my knees and to provide some flexibility. You can do a sphinx pose as you'd like, a deep sphinx pose to stretch that back out and we've just finished our first pose. So get ready to move into our cat and cows. At any given moment that you need to come into a child's pose to deep breathe or to rest, this pose is always available for you. I like to move back and forth to get my breath moving, to get my hips open, and we're now going to come into doing some cat and cow poses. A cat and cow pose is simply by being on your hands and your knees, you breathe up as you move your back up, and you exhale as you move your back down. As you take this movement, you inhale and you exhale. But on your exhale, as you come down, you are pushing your chest down towards the earth and you're opening it up as you lean your head back and inhale again. After you finish your cat and cow, come into a downward facing dog to get ready for our third heart opening exercise. Pedal out your feet, stretch your lower back, breathe in through your core and go ahead and lift your right foot up to the sky 
and stack and open up your hips. You're going to exhale your right foot to your right knee and then to your left knee, moving back. And when you're ready, place your right foot in between your hands and come up into warrior one. Our third heart opening exercise is a warrior one with a humble warrior modification. So once you move into warrior one, you're going to lower your arms behind your body, hold them together and open up your chest as you lean back and breathe. On your exhale, come down into humble warrior, keeping your chest open. When you're done, we're going to do a quick chaturanga, high plank to low plank, upward facing dog, back into downward facing dog and get ready to do the other side. Lift your left leg up to the sky, stack and open up your hips, Breathe in and on your exhale, you're going to take your left knee to your left elbow. Reach it back up on your inhale, exhale, left knee to your right elbow. Reach it back up and on your exhale, put your foot in between your hands and reach up into a left side warrior one. Inhale deeply, stretch and breathe back. Tighten your hands behind your back and open your chest up to the sky on your inhale. And on your exhale, come down into a humble warrior. Keeping your chest open, moving forward and still holding yourself very tightly and strong in your legs as well. When you're done, you can chaturanga into a high plank, low plank, upward facing dog, Breathe in and come into a downward facing dog when you are ready. And now we're gonna come into our fourth heart opening exercise pose, which is camel pose. And please only do this if you feel comfortable. You're going to come onto your knees and you're going to slowly, you can hold your hips as you move back, Lean back into your feet just like this. Have your hands touch your ankles, your feet, wherever you can. If you can't do this, that's okay. Still lean back and really feel the benefits of this heart opening, this chest opening exercise. Once you get into your pose, breathe. I know it's uncomfortable, but this also feels amazing. This is basically bow pose on your side. Come up slowly. I always come up very slowly and I stand there and I kind of move around because sometimes this can create some dizziness so it always helps to get in a little bit of movement after that. You can come back onto your knees and you can kind of move around to warm up your chest a bit. We really did a very difficult heart opening exercise right there. If you wanna repeat this a few times, you can, but I'm gonna go ahead and move into showing you my fifth pose. The fifth pose that I'm gonna show you is wheel pose, but we're going to warm up by first coming into bridge pose. Having your arms behind you, your hips up to the sky, and your legs parallel together and up off of the floor. Breathe deeply, and when ready, put your hands by your head and push up into a back bend. This is wheel pose. Now, it may take you a few times to get in here. I know this is a very difficult pose, the goal of any class, the climax of any yoga practice is always wheel pose. This is the ultimate heart and chest opening pose to do. After you've done this, come back down and you can come into a Suptavada Konasana, placing your right hand on your heart and your left hand on your stomach. Deep breathing. And to release some of the pressure from your lower back, you can also come into happy baby and you can then come into your Shavasana and deep breathe. Woo! Doesn't it feel good to let your hair down after that? How do you feel? <sighs> I feel amazing and fresh and ready to start my day. I always feel like a completely different person after I get a little bit of movement, after I get a little bit of stretch, and after I do those poses. And just remember that if they're difficult for you, no problem, you can always do your own modification and work up to do one of these poses. I hope that you've loved this video. I hope you're feeling amazing. And just keep in mind, if you did this with me, you can always play it again every morning and do this with me any single time. If you guys have liked this 
this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you think, any other types of videos you'd like me to make for you, and hit the subscribe button because I'm all about changing the game in 2018 and so there's a lot more beautiful and different things to come. I'm so happy that you joined me today and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Sending you all my hugs and my love.